In this uh, graph, what I have is uh, a graph of the probability of dying uh, in this year, given that you've already lived to be that age. Uh, it's very similar to the previous graphs we were looking at. One big difference is these, these probabilities uh, at, for earlier ages are very small, and they're very hard to, to pick out on a graph when you look at uh, all the age ranges together. So here I'm just looking at the first 40 years of life here. And the highest line here is for black males, highest probability of dying in any given year. And below them are white males. And again, for black and white males, we see this very pronounced spike in the probability of dying that occurs here around 16 years of age uh, and continues to increase into uh, the early 20s here. Here, the, uh, the red line is the uh, black females, and the green line are white females. So red for the black females, green for white females. Um, here you see in the in the early teenage years, there's actually a an, a lower probability of dying for about a year or two here uh, for the black females than the white, but then the the black females rise a little bit here uh, throughout the 20s, so a little bit higher. Another kind of uh, interesting thing in the, in the probabilities, it makes you think. No one really knows why these numbers are the way they are, but it but it makes you try to think about why some of these things might happen around the age of about 32 30 to 32 all of a sudden for some reason the uh, the the probability of, of dying for a white man starts to drop a little bit but the probability keeps going up for the black females where they those two lines cross and so before age 30 it's safer to be a, a black female than a, a white male, you're, you're, you're less likely to die, but then uh, in the early 30s that reverses and uh, you're a little bit more likely to die if you're a black female than if you're a white male. Now let's look at uh, beyond age 40 and see what happens. All right, in this picture I, I have rescaled the axes so that okay you're you're still pretty safe at age 40 the probability of dying is very low and that's another thing to point out is even in this uh in this other graph let me go back to it briefly here um you know the probabilities aren't huge i mean any any probability of dying is not a good thing but but it it is important to point out that um even though it is it is extremely sad that uh, that a a black male, for example, has approximately double, not quite double, but uh, a lot higher probability of dying in in a one year time period than a white male does. That probability is 0 0.002, which means roughly two in every thousand. Which again, that's too high. We need to figure out how to bring these numbers down for white and black males, and well, everybody, frankly, um, learn how to keep people safer. But that's two in every thousand. Um, by the by, the age of forty, it's about four in every thousand dying per year for black males. Around three for the white males and the black females, and only about one per thousand for white females. Now, when we move on to rescale the graph so we can look at these uh, later life probabilities, we see real probabilities of dying here, really high probabilities for, uh, this is 5%, so this is 5 per 100. By the time people get into their 70s and 80s, uh, you're somewhere in the neighborhood of about a 5% chance of dying in any one year period. Um, throughout the lifespan, though, from birth onward, uh, black males have it worse. Except, there's an interesting crossing right here that we'll go ahead and talk about. If, if a 
black male, according to these, these numbers put out by the uh, Centers for Disease Control in the United States, if a black male lives to about 80, age 85 here, if they live to about age 85, all of a sudden there's a crossing here where an 85-year-old white man is more likely to die between the ages of 85 and 86 than a black man between age 85 and 86. So if, if a black man lives that long, he's less likely to die than um, a similar white man. Kind of interesting. Now we saw one one interesting crossing um, here between black and white men. We see another kind of interesting crossing here with the green and the red. These are black women and white women. About the same age. At about 85 or 86 years old. Maybe, maybe 86 or 87 years old. There's a crossing where all along the lifespan, white women are the least likely to die in any, you know, Given that you're alive and you're a white woman, you're the least likely of any anybody in your age group to die in that year up until the age of about 87. And then all of a sudden, I'm not sure why this is, but it raises some interesting questions. Um, all of a sudden, white women are more likely to die between about the age of 86 and 87 and onward than similarly aged black women kind of interesting. Um, I'd, I'd like for somebody to figure out why why there are these differences. Maybe conjecture some things why there are these differences. So that's one way to look at these um, these numbers. Let me give you a little bit more interesting graph that I was able to create from these data. Okay, here's a graph I created, and, and I used the existing data to calculate um, some numbers using some basic statistics. Uh, I work at a university, and uh, about two years ago, we were discussing um, the probability of dying and, and these life tables, and I work with some other people. I was a 40-year-old white man at the time, and I worked with some other people, some 40-ish some 40 year, 40 year old black men and 40-ish year old white women and black women. And I said, you know, we're all about the same age. I wonder, you know, when we retire, how many of us will actually make it to retirement, um, given some of these disparities in the probability of of dying in each year. And so what I did is I said, okay, we're all 40 right here. This is 1.0. 100% of us are alive at age 40. Given the fact, so this is another conditional kind of calculation. Given the fact that we're alive today, what is the probability that we will make it? What is the probability that we will live to be age 50 or 60 or 70 or 80 or 90? And so as is consistent with the other tables we were looking at, this green line, this is the uh, white females, they have uh, a better chance of surviving, uh, better than anyone else. And so we might an ask a question with this graph, okay, if I'm a white female, what's the probability that I'll make it to live to age 80, for example? So we can answer that. We can say, well, it looks to be about six. Uh, maybe 70% chance, maybe about 70% chance that a, a uh, female, a white female, will live to be age 80. Now, what if I'm a white man? Well, that is, um, well, white, remember, white men and, and black women, their profile are very similar. So white men and black men are about the same here. Sorry, white men and black women or about the same, the red and the blue lines here, the probability that they will live to be age 80 is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 60% probability. And black men only have about a 35 to 40% probability that they will make it to be age 80. So it's, it's very interesting that even when you take out 
differences in child mortality because we're assuming that everybody made it to age 40. That's our starting assumption with this graph. And even removing the fact that males do dumb things whenever they're in their late teens and early 20s to increase their probability of death. Even taking all that off the table, we still see the same kinds of patterns, even for people who uh, make it through their their uh, misspent youth, for you know, we might call it that. Even taking all that into account, we have the same kind of pattern going on. So this raises a whole lot more questions than it answers. Raises the questions, what is still going on? What are the either genetic or behavioral or lifestyle sorts of things that are correlated with being white and with being male or being female that are causing these large differences in survivability even among people who uh, already made it to age 40. Raises a lot of interesting questions. If you have any uh, suggestions or any comments uh, about what some of these things that might be going on are, I'd, I'd appreciate your feedback and, and leave your uh, comments in the in the comment section below. One other thing that this brings up is, is a certain kind of unfairness in certain types of retirement systems. A lot of retirement systems, both government retirement systems and corporate retirement systems, pay you a certain amount per year uh, based on when you retire. For example, in the United States, you can retire as early as age 62. Uh, but you don't get your full benefits at 62 or at 65 you can retire and you get a little bit more in benefits. I believe full retirement age for most people in the U.S. is about 68. And so it raises an interesting sort of question. Okay, if if my friends and I, we're all paying in the same percentage of our income at age 40, and when we retire, say at age, let's say about age 70, suppose we all said we're going to wait until age 70. What's the probability that we actually make it to age 70 to receive that first payment? Well, if, if you're a white female, then you have about a, a 90, 85 or 90 percent chance that you live to make that first payment or to receive that first payment. However, if you're a, a white man or a black female, there's only something less than an 80% chance that you're going to survive to, to receive the first retirement payment. However, if you're a black male, it seems like there might be only a 60% chance that you are going to survive to receive that first Social Security or retirement payment. And that seems to me to be a very uh, substantial sort of discrimination against men and against black people. If if you aren't expected to live as long, why is your retirement age the same age? Why can't men retire a little bit earlier? And why can't black people retire a little bit earlier? Because the statistics say that uh, men and black people are more likely to be paying into this system and less likely to survive to actually be able to draw out that money. And even if you make it to that retirement age, you're probably not going to be draw, drawing that money out for as long, especially as a white female. So, you know, some people might say that it uh, would be discriminatory to pay different races and different genders different amounts or to have different retirement policies. On the other hand, I think that it uh, it looks like it might be discrimination not to pay different amounts and not to give different opportunities based on race. That might be a pretty controversial statement to make. Give me your feedback. What do you think about this? Uh, should we try to either um, pay out different amounts based on race or allow people of uh, certain, uh, allow men to retire earlier or um, retire? allow black people to retire earlier perhaps. Give me your feedback. Tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong. 
This has been Berkey Academy. I hope this has given you a lot to think about. I'll see you next time.